Welcome back, everybody, for part three of Subnautica. And this game is amazing. Oh, I'm absolutely loving it. So glad you guys are enjoying it, too. But the goal of this episode is we're going to try to make that sea glider and, if possible, try to get the vehicle bay thing. I found all the scans, so I'm going to see if I can get both those pulled off. I got to find copper. I don't know where the copper is, but we're going to see if we can find it. Do me a huge favor fast. Smack the like button. We're diving right back in. All right, we are back and ready to do some more. I see I got a radio podcast. Let's do that first. Let's listen to this first. This is Ozzy from the cafeteria. What the hell, guys? They didn't want us this might happen. Our pod was almost crushed by the Seamoth Bay on the way down. Now we're hanging on the edge of a cave system, and this grim-looking snake thing is trying to eat through the hull. Come get us already. Signal location uploaded to PDA. What? Large snake thing. I don't know. I like the sound of that. Here we go. All right, we'll set that one as yellow. Pod 17. 100? 100 meters. That feels close. Stranded near a cave system under attack. Oh, man. That was not what my plan was. Okay, let's see what we got here. We did have some, some stuff pop up. Limestone outcrop. These unusual geological structures often form around titanium and copper deposits and are distinct to this planet. Closer analysis revealed the stone around the metal has been hardened against erosion, but the mechanisms remain unknown. Titanium and copper. Yeah, copper. That's what I need. Okay, and we found, uh, oh yeah, the blue palm. What's this thing say? Blue palm is a common aquatic plant which thrives in shallow waters with high exposure to sunlight. Long fronds intercept light before it can reach the smaller flora on the seabed. Oh. Oh, it doesn't say there's any kind of use to that one. Bummer. I was hoping that was going to be useful for something. Okay, I got a couple. I got this, this. Yep, I found both of those. And there's one more. Laser cutter. That's what I found, two of the three. Oh, my gosh. Okay, the goal of this video, I probably said it in the introduction. I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to try to at least get this made. I would like to get this made, too. That would be so cool. A grav trap. This would be cool. If this works the way that I think it does, where it just like captures small things, it would be awesome to have that floating around. Maybe just find fish in it from time to time. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, I don't have... I can't even build this yet. I got to find the, the items to even build that. I think that's what you have to start with. Okay. We got a lot to do. A lot to do. All right. And then I, I did make... No, I did not make yet another thing for storing titanium. I need to find a place. Yeah, that's pretty much full. That ain't gonna do me any good. Um. All right, we'll stick you in there. I got three med kits now. I'm not gonna worry about more of those. I got a bunch of water on me. Not gonna worry about that for a bit. That's nice snow. In fact, actually, I need to drink a few of these. There we go. I got a couple of those left. Med kits. Supplies. I need more space. Man, I wonder if I should go try to... Oh, locker name? Oh! Well, I don't even remember what's in this one. Open. Oh, thank goodness this has room. Alright. We're gonna do this. And we're just gonna name this one... Rocks. And keep it simple. Because that rocks! I know. I know, it's stupid. And this one has plant-like things. You know what? We're gonna stick these in there. I, this didn't have any use. I'm tempted to just drop it since it didn't actually have anything uh, listed as a purpose. And it takes up a ton of space. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna drop it. I guess it was cool to be able to cut it off, but it serves no purpose it looks like. And then this one, edit the name. We're gonna put plants. Well, that's cool that I can label those. Oxygen. Okay, uh, actually, we're gonna just step right in here real fast. That works probably as good as any. You can hear the water dripping. How awesome is that? Okay, where's that? It's under attack though. What can I fight with, a knife? Life pod 17. 333 away. I really, really, really want to stay focused. And we're going to find ore. That's the goal. Or, not ore. Copper. Alright, that's titanium. 
We're on a mission to find copper. Oh, is this something I've scanned already? Yep. Okay. Nice to know. I'm gonna stay kind of here close to this edge. There's a copper. I wonder if the problem is I've been swimming too far away, if like all the copper's located like right under me. Titanium. 30 seconds. Thank you for that. I feel like I am doing better at kind of listening for that. I wonder if there's a point where you reach where you can start to use um, devices. Oh, I thought that was something I could hit. Where there's some kind of a tank you can get where you have like an hour of breathable time. You could almost go swimming for as long as you want and not even have to worry about it. That would be awesome. Okay, well, we found one so far. It definitely gets harder to see at nighttime. I need a flashlight. Spotting these little rocks in the dark. Like that? No, that's not one. It wouldn't be so bad if all this coral wasn't here, but the coral's pretty. I like seeing the coral. Um... Okay, I found one copper. I'd like to find two. I think if I find two coppers, I can make a wire and a battery. I think that I think that would complete at least one of the crafts. Yeah, keep going. Man, I just tried to keep going. Is that a copper? I couldn't tell. Okay, I'm going back out. Oh, going into a cave in the dark. That is not a good idea. Okay, I think I found a second copper. One, two. Oh yeah, and we found a gold. Okay, let's go make some stuff. Finally. Okay, I think I need one of those mushrooms that I've been hanging on to since like the beginning. Okay, let's pull a couple of you out. Uh, I think I might need that. I might need that. Oh, please tell me I can make something right here. Okay, I need a battery. And do that first. Okay, well, we got tools, scanner, repair. Oh, there is a flashlight. Oh, it uses glass. I have a glass. I just need more batteries. Imagine that. Habitat. Okay, I need a computer chip. Here it is. Oh, yes. Let's make the sea glider. I am pumped to see what this is like. The sea glider will increase your effective exploration range. For your safety, please pack supplies for long journeys and oh. stay within five kilometers of the nearest life pod or habitat. I'm glad it gave me that warning because I did not even think about that. Okay, I am going to make another one of these because I need space and I want to stock up on titanium. Oh, I got the sea glider! Oh, I feel so accomplished already. That was quick, too. I feel like we're still at the beginning of this video. All right, so this is the next project. I've got the lubricant. I got the titanium. I need a power cell, which means I need I need two batteries. This, does that make two batteries? No. Okay, so I need to find... You know what? I got enough to at least make one. Let's pull you out. Why has this one got a spore? If planted in the right... Oh, I must have sliced that one. I can plant that. Okay. That's nice to know. Oh, I thought I had enough to... Oh, I need two. Well, that ain't no problem. The more of these it takes, the better. I like that these are so close together. You don't have to go running very far. Yes. My goodness. This is going to be a good episode. I can tell already. It's going to be a good one. Okay, so that gets me one battery. I need one more battery to make a power cell. Which means I need the copper. I think I've got enough mushrooms still in here. I need two. Okay, I got two. So I just need more copper. Let's go ahead and store you. You know this fire extinguisher? I ain't used it at all. I'm just going to go ahead and store that. I don't know if it serves any purpose or not. Alright, and then... Do I got any other... No other rocks in here. Okay. So we're going to go down here. Put out yet another flotation device. I wonder if I could, like, recycle these later. If, uh... If I, like, uh... There it goes. We're going to stick... 
we're just stick all these rocks in there. But yeah, I wonder if I can recycle this stuff later to get resources back. Because once I start building a base, I'm assuming I can make, you know, storage units inside the base, which would be way more convenient. Okay, we'll store the gold. Oh my gosh, look at this! Do I just... Okay, it's on my slot here, number five. I'm gonna put this... I'm gonna put that as number one. I kinda wanna put this as number two. Okay, number three. Oh, number three. And I don't think I... You know, I don't need to be running around with this repair tool either. Although we might... I don't know, maybe we'll need it at this uh, other place we're gonna go. Yes, the sun's coming out. That's what I wanted to before heading over to the next location. All right, I'm gonna bring a nutrition block with me. I've got two waters, nutrition. In fact, uh, hmm, I do wish I kind of had one more water, but that's okay. I got first aids. I'm gonna store you. There we go. Oh man, I feel like we're making some huge accomplishments. Oh, let's check this first. Got another radio podcast. This is Sunbeam. You know Aurora. We're from a little transgov on the far side of Andromeda, and we have a saying Andromeda. Here. There's no bad without the good, no good without the bad. Uh-oh. Sounds like you tasted a bunch of the former, but that only means you're overdue a whole lot of the latter. I like that. Might just be we're it. We're scanning for somewhere to park. We'll be in touch when we find it. Sunbeam out. I mean, that sounds pretty nice. They're just almost here to get it. Does this serve any purpose now? Oh, I just saw a little pad there. Wonder if I could do something with it. Okay. Uh, what was I about to do right before I heard that podcast? Nothing. I don't think. Okay. Let's see if we can find one more copper before we. Oh wait. Let's try this. Yo! Look at that. Oh, I'm moving now, baby. I can even like sideways spin, man. If I. Can I, like, swing a weapon at the same time? Okay, so it puts it away if I... That's nice. Oh, here we go. What we got here? Copper, baby! That's what we wanted. Now, do I just need one? What we got here? That's titanium. Man, I've been swimming way too far looking for... Precious metals that were just right here. Right here. I wonder if any of you guys were, like, screaming in the comment section. Dude, just go right below your pod. You'll find all the copper you need. I'm gonna have to get used to switching back to this. Mm, let's see, can I find one more? Oh, how fast can I get to the surface now? What's up, it? Oh, look at that! Oh man, whoever it was, I forget who it was. Somebody suggested build this thing. Life will never be the same. I'm so glad you. Told me to do that because you're right. That is amazing. Okay, here. Oh, titanium? More titanium. Nothing to scan in there? Oh. I saw this case over here. I thought maybe it was a piece I was missing. I still need to find the the habitat thing to scan if I'm going to uh, be able to build it. I am looking forward to some base building. I think that's going to be a lot of fun. Get some aquariums set up with fish inside. I'm totally gonna have me an aquarium with a Gary fish in it. Assuming they can go inside of one. Oh, this game is just getting cooler and cooler with every episode. It's hard to even like go play some of my other playthroughs at the moment. I'm having so much fun with this one. Don't worry though. Those of you who are enjoying the other playthroughs, I'm gonna keep them going. My goal is not to have so many different playthroughs going that I can't be semi-regularly uploading from each of the games. But I am making the videos longer so that people can, you know, they have more time to try to finish the previous video before the next one comes out. Okay, well, I'm not seeing any of the copper. I've got one. I think that might be enough for what I need. Let's try. Oh, look, I'm just carrying this thing out here. That's fun. I think I need... I need to get two of you. To make the battery. It is funny. You know, at first I was kind of overwhelmed thinking of all of this stuff that you can craft and make. 
I'm I'm kind of quickly starting to feel more comfortable with some of these recipes. They've done a good job of like slowly bringing the things out for you. Okay, I needed those. I think that was everything I needed. Let's make a power cell. And oh yes! Next goal accomplished already. Let's craft it. Let's check this puppy out. Vehicle, look how big that thing is. Okay, I assume I go outside to put that down? Let's take a look at it. Fabricates vehicles from raw materials. Yeah, I don't think I can put that down in here, can I? Uh, excuse, uh, yeah, okay, let's go out here. Release. Yes. I went to release. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Oh, I climb on it. What? Let's check this out. Vehicles. Uh, Seamoth. Okay. Look at that. We. I got myself some little drones. Use the vehicle bay. Is this climb? Oh, I thought it was giving me the option to climb on that. So I just jump off. Oh man, I feel so accomplished already. Hitting the goals. Uh, is this the one full of... Okay, that's full of rocks. What about this one? That full... That's plants. I know these are like labeled on top, but it's almost faster just to check it this way. Alright, so we're gonna move these into there. And now... Oh man, uh, I got just enough. Let's go catch a couple fish. So I got some, cause I'm I'm getting ready to travel a little ways away. I want to make sure I got plenty of food and water. Oops. Can I grab fish while swimming with this thing? And then we're gonna go check out that new signal. Oh, you stay away, dude. I might be able to outrun you now. Uh, there's boomerang. Uh, come here. Yay! Seconds. I can grab while swimming. That's awesome. I was hoping so. Come here, dude. Yeah. Fishing just got a bit easier. Okay, I need some bladder fish. Let's go up and get some air first. Oh, wait a second. 90% power. I forgot this thing's got like a battery life to it, don't it? Oh, no. All right. While I'm close, I better switch off of it as much as I don't want to. Using that for fishing right now may not be a good idea since uh, I probably got to make a battery for that thing. That thing each time it where it runs out. Okay, we got. I got one. In fact, let's go ahead and drink these. Okay, I need. I'd like to get at least three. Oh, there's one. I feel so slow now after running around with that thing. I've been spoiled. Uh, if I if I had a better, quicker, easier way of getting copper, I would use it for sure, and then not worry about how hard it is for me to make a battery. But right now, I feel like uh, I still haven't figured out the secret for unlimited supply of copper. Oxygen. Okay, let's get one more. Nice thing though, if I do forget to go up, I can now use that to get up faster to the surface. And I do have my extra tank on me, should I need it. Okay, well I really wanted to find one more. Um... Oh, I'll get you, because I need to eat something. Come here, little guy. I see you swimming away. Gotcha. I saw something over here too, looked like I could maybe scan it. Is there anything in here? See, there's just no way to know if it's one that I've already found before. Especially when it's like that, you can't even see inside of it. Alright, um... Okay. Well, I really want to go check out that signal, and I've got three. I think I can make do. 
We'll cook us up some food here real fast. Some sustenance, because I'd really prefer to go there during the day if possible. I don't know if I like the idea of some big snake-like thing in the dark. That doesn't seem like a, a good combination. Alright, gonna cook you up. Two of you. That should be plenty of food for now. Let's check it. Eat that. Okay, we're full on both of those. This won't last too long. You know what? And it'll fill up my... my I'm gonna go ahead and eat it. Let's go ahead and use this so that's full. I probably got another one ready. There we go. Look how pro I'm getting. All this swoosh, swoosh, do this, do that. I feel like I'm really figuring this thing out. I'll go ahead and store you. You ain't gonna do me any good. Although, I wonder if I should bring flares. I think I saw that that thing will make flares. Oh, I got another radio? This is Officer Keen in Lightpod 19. The captain is gone. I have assumed command. Another the last pod. thing the captain did was give me coordinates for dry land. We regroup one and a half kilometers southwest of the crash site. Stay together and good luck. This message will now repeat. Rendezvous coordinates corrupted. Transmission oh. origin coordinates downloaded. Oh, okay. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Dry land? You know, I didn't even think about the fact there could be land. I assumed this was all going to be in water. Man, so life pod 3, life pod 17, and 19. I wonder how many life pods there are. Okay, well this is where we're going to go first. This we'll do next. And I haven't gotten anything new there, so we're good. Alright, let's save the game. And head towards that first distress call. Man! It's so cool. Okay, where are you at? Yellow. It's so cool. Like, these little radio podcasts really makes you feel like you were part of a... Something big that happened here. It's not that you're just stranded here. It does really add to the fact that there is a story. Now, I wonder if this little map thing, if I drop flares and stuff like that, I wonder if it begins to, like, show up on there to help me kind of find my way around. Oh, what is that? What is this? Oh! 30 seconds. Yo, what is that? Okay, let's go get some air. Oh, wow, I'm, I'm actually a little ways down here. Come on. Let's get up. Oh, what is that thing? It looks like a giant whale or something. It's got stuff on it. I want to scan it. Can I scan it? Can I scan this thing? A reef back. I don't blame it for taking a while to scan this one. Almost there. Oh, I want to see what this thing says. A reef back leviathan. This vast life form is in excess of 30 meters long and has been designated leviathan class. Fortunately, it feeds exclusively on plankton-like life forms in the water. You know what? I am underwater. Not a good idea to stop and read. Let's go to the surface first. Wow, that thing is gigantic! Alright, stay on the surface. On the surface. I feel like there's got to be a way to just like calmly stay on the surface. There we go. All right, let's continue this. Most of the life form's top side and some of its underside is protected by a thick layer exoskeleton. This suggests an evolutionary path quite different from the other organisms on 4546b, most of which are vertebrae in nature. The reefback species has likely been able to grow far larger than other herbivores because anything large enough to break through its shell has long since gone extinct. Oh, enzyme pods. Similar in appearance to the algae glands of the gasopod, these organs on the reefback's underside serve some 
unknown purposes in the digestive system and are capable of expelling small quantities of stomach enzymes into the surrounding water. I wonder if that's a good thing or bad. Like, I wonder if I can collect that for something. Local microorganisms, an array of different barnacle and plant species grow on the reef back shell, thrusting their roots into ancient scars in the chitin and taking advantage of their mobility to avoid predation. Nonetheless, reef backs will often be pursued by the faster, hungrier herbivores, and thus this leviathan species is a mobile microsm worthy of years of study in itself. Life cycle, reef backs lifespans likely extend through many centuries. Should they survive their initial growth cycle? For the first few decades, their smaller size would make them vulnerable to carnivorous leviathans. I mean, if there's going to be like attacking fish that big, leviathans, I can see why you guys said just you wait. Sociable, seen traveling in small pods and communicating by an echo in call. Behavior is consistent with low level sentience. Assessment, harbors plants, small fish, and metal rich barnacles. Oh, see, what's that? Okay, threat level is like none. Okay, I like that. Wow, that was so cool to see. Did it fly? Okay, I wonder if it swims far or if it stays pretty close. Let's check out some more stuff up here. See if I can find some things. That's different. A regress shell? Oh, it sounds awesome. All right, the rest of these things I'll read next time we're back in the... Uh... Oh, did, I, did I pick it up? I broke the barnacle. Did it roll off? Oh, cop. Oh, thank you. If if these things are going to be a nice supply of copper, I'm going to spend the night on this little fish here. That could be awesome. Where'd he go? I guess there's not something in everything. Oh, come on. I saw you rolling around. Okay, I don't know what that one was, but I don't think it was copper. Oh, acid mushroom, believe it or not. I think I actually need one of those. I'm going to make more batteries. This thing is amazing. A tiger plant? Oxygen. Oh, eight. How could you let me get so low? Not cool, suit. You know I'm like super distracted right now. I need like a 30 minute warning at least. Come on, scan it. Keep scanning. Come on, you're like right on top of it. Okay, rogue. Oh, I wonder if this is something I can slice. Did I get anything out of it? Nope, don't look like it. I wonder if I need something stronger for that. Uh, I guess I can slice one of these. Maybe that'll be useful for something. Man, oh, there's a second one. I was not expecting this when I came over here. I was expecting big snake-like thing. Unless they're referring to, like, the tails on this. Maybe that's what they're referring to as snake-like thing. Is there stuff under it, too? I don't know. Oh, it's almost daylight again. Thank goodness. I would much rather go down and explore that thing with light. The wreckage, that is. I'm assuming it's another wreckage. It doesn't look good. I'll put it that way. Any more deposits that I can... Wow, what is this? Okay, apparently just a little decoration thing. Wow. That thing is huge. Look, you can actually like see it's... It's got like little breathing apparatuses under there. Amazing! Okay. One last breath of air, then we're going down to check out that wreckage. Let's, uh, drink a water. Full speed ahead. Okay, hopefully if there's something that needs scanned... I will have luck finding this. scans show a nearby cave entrance. Depth 90 meters, leading to an unknown environmental biome. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh. Good to know. Okay, I see this over here. Oh, I hear something. Mobile vehicle. Oh, not not you. Not you. Okay. Oh, wrong one. Let's get to that surface. I do have my extra tank. If I remember, I can switch real fast. 
That's gonna be the real key, is if I can remember, I can switch. Okay, well, well where was- oh, here we go. Okay, I scanned one thing. Looks like there's another... Oh, wow, there's... I see two cases over here. We'll scan both of those. Man, I moved so much slower once I, uh... Okay, nothing I can do with that. Looks like what we got here. Uh, nothing there. Anything I can scan here? It's so hard to see once you get inside the core. I wonder if I can cut that. I didn't even try to cut it. No, I just got down here. Uh, what we got here? Wow, this is a much bigger wreckage than the first one we found. First one was just an escape pod. Oh, come on. Seven. Four. One. Oh, man, I cut that close. I am in trouble. I am in so much trouble. I need... I need to be able to stay underwater longer. Alright, I'm just gonna keep swimming around with this thing for the moment. Okay. Uh... Oh, I'm a spoon of fish. Let's see if we can check some more of this wreckage. Man, those things sound awesome. Can I get in here? I feel like there's gotta be a hole in here somewhere. 30 seconds. No! Already? No signal. Oh, I gotta go back out already. Oxygen. Oh, man! I am cutting that so close. Even with this thing, I feel like I just barely get down there with enough time to, like, look around. I mean, maybe that's the whole Past point of it. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, is that why I'm I'm going down so fast? Because I'm so deep? I don't even know how to, like... Dusk. Oh, a new blueprint. Okay, well that's helpful. Oh, what's this? Modification station fragment? One of three. Okay, well whatever that is, I want to find more of it. I haven't died yet. I'm doing good. I wonder if I should like save my game right here. Like, like that would be a smart move to make. Okay, it was hard to even see what that thing really looked like. Let's see if there's... Alright, switch to the scanner. Is there anything else I can scan in here? Command chair. Okay. What else we got? Uh, swivel chair. Wow! How much stuff can I add? Inside my little setup. Okay, anything else out here I can scan? Uh, oh. Oxygen. Yeah, yeah, I know. Oxygen. Oh, this... I might have to switch. Swap. Oh, man. Thank you, whoever it was that gave me that little tip. About having two tanks. That is literally a lifesaver. Okay. Uh, looks like there's something way out here. Maybe I can scan this. I'm glad I did not try to come here before having uh, the sea glider, though. That would not have worked at all. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Oh, man. It does. A whole chunk of air just, like, vaporized there all of a sudden. Oh, at the top, that's where it shows me how far down I am. I see that now. I didn't notice that before. Okay, I don't think I've checked this side of the ship yet. 30 seconds. Nothing there. Can I open this? No. Oh! 
I might have to do like some swooshes from going to surface, going to bottom, just to kind of speed this process up a bit. That was close. I was at one again. My guy was even gagging when he got up there. All right, what else do we got? What's this? That looks like something different. Room fragment. Oh, it's another blueprint I didn't have. Oh. Okay, well that sounds like something that was useful and important. What's this? Man, I've only got one of three. I wonder if the other ones are like in different wreckages. I wonder if I won't find more of that one at this particular one. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to find at this one for now. I'll come back when I can stay under longer, because at this point, the up and down, up and down is... It's getting kind of old. And I do feel like I found some things that are useful. Uh, what's this? Local scans show a nearby wow, I'm on day 11. Depth 90 meters. Leading to an Blueprints. Biome. Leviathan. Okay, so we definitely got some things we can read there. Some new blueprints. Uh, Seamoth. Scanner room. Oh, okay. That's cool. I wish I could find out where the... <laughs> I got some chairs now. I'll be able to put some furniture in there. I, I wish I could find out where the multi-purpose thing is. I feel like... I feel like I need to find that next. Alright, well, finding this guy was awesome. Uh, there was a second one. Let's see if we can get some more... Oh, is this guy different? Let's see if I can scan this one. Maybe he's different, because there's nothing on the back of this. Oh, he must just be a younger one. Maybe that's just a younger one. Okay, so I can't go down very deep. I need something that's going to help me get down deeper. I need to go back and look at equipment, see what, what will do that. It's nice to know that, at least here, I can uh, swim around a little longer just because I'm not down too deep. 30 seconds. Okay. Alright, let's head back to our pod. All right, on the way back, I decided to stop and try to get some bladder fish. Found a couple cool things. I found a stalker tooth, and I do remember hearing when we were reading over there, it said that that might be useful for some stuff. That was cool. Also found this whole fish, which looks very similar to like these little sideway eye guys, but like maybe just a slightly different form there. So a couple cool things that happened on the way. And let's see, what do we got here for blueprints? Uh, there, I was thinking there was one other. There's a cured whole fish, cooked whole fish, enameled glass. Okay, so I guess there wasn't anything. I thought there was one other thing I maybe found on the way back. L All right, let's check this out. Modification station, where the standard fabrication automatically rearranges raw materials to form complex devices. The mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. Well, that sounds like a good idea. Most industrial vessels are fitted with a complement of equipment modification stations, which enable engineers to adapt their tools on the fly. To conserve hard drive space, the modification station is excluded by default from most personal emergency blueprint libraries. However, extreme environments such as ocean and desert class planets may necessitate the adaptation of basic survival tools for unanticipated applications. For this reason, access to a mod station is always recommended. I like that. Let's see, what's a scanner room do? This advanced habitat module can transform a small outpost into a burgeoning science and exploration station. A 3D display in the center of the room stores topographical data. System can scan for and pinpoint particular materials Oh, that would be awesome. Remotely controlled drones can stand the area up to 500 meters in a range. Oh, that would be amazing. Wall-mounted cameras feed allow you to live control for scouting drones. Upgrade console may be used to enhance module functions. Oh, I want that. That would be awesome. I could find all the copper I could possibly want. Okay, sulfur plant. This is what I scanned. I guess I hadn't scanned it before. These plants appear to serve as nests for the explosive organism which guards them. Little exploding fish. The outer petals are undamaged by the presence of inhabitant creatures 
creatures, suggesting a complex co-development. The plant has evolved to feed on nutrients and minerals deposited within it by the fish. Sulfuric deposits on the inner leaves provide an insight into the mechanisms by which the creatures explode. Sulfur has applications in construction of repair materials. Okay, I like that regress cell. This specimen is composed of a complex series of regressing rings connected by tendrils, a rogue cradle, a complex cave-dwelling floral specimens. The bright yellow core of this plant is protected by a rigid case, presumably to ward off medium-sized herbivores. Oh, that's a beautiful plant. Violet bay bayou, a common luminescent plant which grows in patches on the seabed. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need to figure out, I need to figure out how I can stay underwater longer. And we might need to go to this new... Okay, I'm going to hide. That's that's what this is, right? It hides it. And I'm going to hide you since I've been there. We might need to go here. Maybe this will allow me to build um, the, the module thing that I'm needing to do. But first, we got some cooking and stuff to do. Nope, nope. Uh, this first. We need to make some water. This was my main intention, was to run down there, grab a bunch of water making things and a couple food things i figured i've done that enough you guys probably didn't really want to watch that and gave me a couple minutes to swim around and enjoy the beautiful sounds and everything that takes place under there all right we're gonna cook these these guys are some good food and okay so what do we got here involved okay let's go ahead and scrap that to get our titanium I think I got enough. Yeah, I can make another battery. Which I, I feel like batteries are going to be super important. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of those. Oh, in the flashlight. I forgot I could make a flashlight. Mm, can I do anything new here? Floating air pump. I don't think that's going to do me any good yet. I think this might be related to... When I start building, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, I can make another one of those. Ooh, if I get a copper, I can make one. I, wonder, I really want to make one of those. Then I would have one of each of the... Well, a bunch of those. But I'd have at least one of each of those. Okay, so let's drink up. I'm glad the water doesn't go bad on you. Let's eat you. And... I feel like... I feel like I need to eat one more thing. Small edible prey. Did I look at that one yet? I don't think I looked at that one yet on here, did I? Did I not? Oh, I just grabbed it. That's right. I didn't even scan it. I was I was so worried he was going to get away. I didn't even scan it. Okay. Well, I won't cook him yet, then. Let's get another one of these guys. This should top me off. Probably both food and water. And eat you. There we go. Oh, I keep forgetting. You can actually go past 100 on those. That's pretty amazing. Okay, let's grab another one of you. I like having three of these. I feel like <laughs> I've got to be in a really bad situation for three not to be enough. But I like the idea of having three of those on me. I think the thing I have out there is full. Let's stick you in there. And I, I guess I guess we'll stick these. I don't want to build another storage container. At least not yet. And you know what? Since I can go past 100, let's cook one more fish. Let's do a boomerang. A little more delicate. You know, you gotta change it up sometimes. You get tired of eating the same thing all the time, right? What's that take me to? Oh. Well, that one didn't take me past. Well, that's a little bit of a bummer. Fail. Okay, so. Let's look at equipment. Oh, I forgot if I can make... I actually might have everything needed to make this. If I get the radiation suit, I could go probably over to the Aurora. Oh, this is what I want. I want a high capacity tank. I've got an extra tank. I got one glass. Oh man, I might actually, let's see if I can make that. Oh, that would be amazing. Okay, so I already forgot what the blueprint required. <laughs> I wish I could like pin it on the screen. Check my inventory. Okay, where you at? Right here. Two mesh, two lead. 
I think I've got two. And then I need... I think I stuck the lead in one of these out here. Uh... Let's check you. There they are! Oh my goodness! Ooh, wait a second. That's not what I was gonna make. Well, I, I mean, I can make that. This is what I want. Uh, I need glass and four titanium. I think I have one glass. Not in you. Okay, yep, there's my one glass. Pull you out. Uh, one, two, let's pull two of those out. And how do I make glass? Um... Here we go. Two quarts. I'm pretty sure I've got those as well. Oh man, we about to do some mass construction. I think I think I'll be able to survive underwater a whole lot better now if these work the way that I'm thinking they will. Okay, so let's make one glass. Sounds like I got another radio call over there. Okay, let's come here. Equipment. Let's make this first. Oh, man, that looked good. All right, let's put it on. High capacity. Let's see, 75. 135? Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, now let's make my suit. Now, I wonder... Do I have a suit on at the moment? I wonder if this does more than just, like, protect me from radiation. I guess not. And the fact that it gives me the option to unequip it makes me think I might come across other suits later. Radiation helmet. Man, I've accomplished so much in this episode. This is an exciting episode. I might even just title it that. In the thumbnail, I might be like, this is an exciting episode. <laughs> oh, as corny as that sounds, that may be what happens. Okay, well, what do we get? It says something. Rebreather converts oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Fiber mesh. Do I have another fiber mesh? If not, and I I don't remember that being anything that was too difficult to make. Yeah, creep vine samples. I can get that. Let's go get some creep vine samples. Uh, right over here. Man, I feel like I've accomplished so much this episode. Okay, where... It, I feel like there is only, like, certain places you can, like, kind of swipe at this thing. We're gonna make a whole bunch of... Oh, I didn't realize you could, like, destroy the entire vine. I'm gonna make a big thing of mesh. Okay, that's actually probably plenty. You know, it is fun when you can, like... Be like, okay, I'm gonna make this, and then you go out and you make that, and then you come back, you're like, okay, what's the next thing we're gonna do? Put a plan together. Oh, man, I already love how long I can stay underwater. Resource. Alright. Let's fiber it up. Oh, I do, I forgot, I do have a certain amount of power up there. I'm gonna have to be mindful of how often I'm doing something with that. Okay, this right here. I sure hope I wasn't planning on using those wires for something else, because I totally forgot about that. So if I swap those... So... So this I can use if I want to go deeper. This is what I gotta use if I'm gonna go into a radioactive area. Well, I'm gonna put that on for now, because... Or should I go over to that suit? Mmm... I feel like this is going to be more important for the moment. I'll keep that on me for now. Okay, so inside here, let's go ahead and store... Oh, I don't have enough room to store that. We will store you. Let's go ahead and store the... No, I'm going to keep the battery on me. Because if that's what I can use to, like, recharge this... I would hate to be a long ways away and totally forget about that. Alright, so we'll put that in there, though. And... 
Okay, yep, we could do one of those. I only have one water left. Okay, so what's what's next? What's the next? Okay, first of all, let's get this. See what's what what it's beeping about. Aurora, we're approaching the planet now. We have a landing site for you. That's well, it's better than the alternatives. We've sent you the coordinates. It'll take us a couple of days to align our orbit. We should be able to establish direct contact with you during that time. Then what? we're coming in to get you. Cross your fingers, the weather holds. And don't leave us waiting. Sunbeam out. Is this an actual, like, escape option? I mean, wait, it's surely not. Uh... I don't see a spot. Because this is the life pod. He didn't give me, like, a coordinate yet. Maybe he's going to give that to me in a little bit. I wonder about this. Should I make that my focus? I feel like there's still so much I have not accomplished on here. There's no way I actually get out of here. Not yet. Okay. All right, we're going to turn our attention to this thing. We're going to go to that next signal. I've got one water. I got first aid. I got I got a nutrition block on me. I wish I had a little more water. Let's see if I can get a couple more waters first. <laughs> I just call them water now. I don't even refer to them as like bladder fish. I'm like, oh, here's a water. Uh, where else we got a water? Because like, like my suit said, be mindful about traveling too far away and not having supplies on you. I would hate to die because I traveled too far. Then my battery ran out. Then I had nothing to eat. Like, no! I can do better. Come here. And you, that gives me four. I feel like that's really good. Look how long I could stay underwater now. That's amazing. Oh. I'll grab another one. And wh where'd that food go? <laughs> I just call it food. <laughs> that's when you know you've been cooking and drinking and eating these guys for a little while. You just start referring to them as what they are. <laughs> or, or what you turn them into, not what they actually are. That's hilarious. All right, we're going to fabricate a ton of water here real fast. Man, the fact that they actually stick a timer on the screen makes me wonder if I'm supposed to... ...be mindful of that. Kind of like the whole... when Aurora blew up, I thought I needed to get over there and fix something. And it turns out... ...it looked like, I guess it was just supposed to blow up. There wasn't really a whole lot I could do about that. I'm wondering if this is another one of the situations where it's not actually an escape. That, uh... I, I don't need to be that concerned about it, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to stick... I don't need five of these, I don't think. So I'm going to stick... Oh, no, I'm not going to stick one of those anywhere. Flare? You know what? Let's grab one of those. I haven't used them yet. My guess is they're going to be useful. All right. Plants, I think that one's full. Can't put anything in there. Uh, let's stick some things in here. I can't even stick that in there because it, it's too full. We'll stick you there. Uh, okay, and then maybe this one's got room for that that plant. I ate it! I didn't know I could eat that. I didn't even hover over it long enough to see what it does for me. Okay. Well, that's one way to get rid of it, I guess. My guy's just eating anything he can. Okay. Let's save the game and refill our air and see if we can make it to that distress pod before. Oh my goodness. That's a thousand meters away. I'm so glad I got this glide. I just hope it's not down so far that I can't get to it. I know I got my little new helmet on. It's supposed to allow me. In fact, I'd probably be better off to head back to the other one so I can actually more thoroughly check that area, but. All right, you stay away, little biter. Oh, there's another one of these guys. You got any copper for me, buddy? I'll check you real fast. Oh, here we go. Come on. Thank you. 
I like these. Oh, that's something new. I haven't scanned yet. World Papryus. Um, you. I can't do anything with you. Man, so much life on the what? Oh no, I've already I've already scanned you before. Look how long I can stand in water. Okay, I'm not seeing any more spots. I'm trying not to get too distracted. You guys know me, man. I am easily distracted. Uh, wow, I got a feeling that is going to be down deep. All right, let's come up here. All right. I'm going to get close. Oh my goodness, it's getting dark. I wonder if I should have a flashlight with me. Especially if I'm going to have to go like into some caves or something. Oh, I, this is definitely the furthest I have gone from my base. I am nervous. Look how open this is. Look how deep that goes. Okay, let's go up. Get some air first. I got 33 minutes left. Oh, man. This little sea glider, man. I'm going to have to be very mindful of my distance underwater. Okay. I want to make sure I got a full breath of air before I go down to it. So I'm going to go across. Look, my little sonar thing isn't even picking up anything down there because it's down so far. All right. Breath of air. Then we're going down. Let's do this. I hope I don't regret this little move. Let's see how my new helmet holds up. I'm down 100. I don't know how much deeper I can go now. Oh, it's so dark. Is this a cave? Can I pick this up while... Okay, well that's good. Uh, well, we got all kinds of deposits here of something. Oh, I thought there was another one there. Here we go. Biodiversity in this region is unusually low. Cause unknown. I may not want to know. Salt. And that. Oh, no. Have I... I can't see. Oh, no. I'm stuck. I can't... I don't know where I came in from. Oh, this is bad. This is really bad, and I have no flashlight. I can't see up. Okay, I'm trying to use my little... sonar thing to find my way around. I should have made a flashlight before coming here. Oh! I thought for sure I was a dead man right there. We will come back here when I have a flashlight. That almost got me killed. I started going inside of a cave, did not even know where. Oh, look. There's the land. Can I get out and walk on the land? I mean, I have a knife. Is that enough to defend myself? I did not expect there to be land in Subnautica. Picking up multiple energy signatures on the island's surface. Oh my gosh. This is... Th this... Oh. I don't know what to say. I really did not expect... to be able to get out on land. Oh! 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 What was that? This looks like a Half-Life crab. Oh, that is messed up. Okay, switch to my knife. Can I attack that thing? Where are you at? Oh, die. Can I use you? Oh, no. You serve no purpose, huh? Okay. Okay. Wow. Got a whole lot of whatever you were. Oh, no. You stay away. Die. Where'd you go? Uh. Okay. 
That kind of stinks that I can't use these for anything after I kill them. I thought I saw like an ore rock or something here. Maybe it was them that I was seeing. Wow, uh, I don't know how far I want to explore on this. I feel like this is very dangerous territory for me right now. Okay. A, a Jaffa cup? Sounds like a fancy coffee. Thought I saw a bug go running by there. Can I... Can I do something with this? Okay, well, I, I, I think I grabbed whatever that was. Oh! I don't know what these are for, but I'm gonna grab a couple. Speckled rattle. Okay, I'm leaving this place. This, this place is kind of terrifying me, being nighttime and all. Can't do anything with you. Wow! Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to swoosh back to the pod. But I will record my run there in case something happens. Along the way. So if there's a swoosh, it was an uneventful, peaceful travel. Okay. Smooth. Uneventful. It was a it was a peaceful little ride, actually. Okay. Let me make a water. My inventory is full, so let's go ahead and get our water back up. Uh, the food. It's old, but it's it's not it's not horrible. We'll go with that. Do another water. We need to free up some space anyways. Um Yeah, okay. Now let's go ahead and I can make some cured yeah, I found some salt over there. A couple of them actually. Uh let's let's do this. I like the idea of having at least a couple cured things on me. Or available to me, I should say. Running out of space again. I don't know if I should be saving these plants or not. I gotta I gotta make another container. As much as I'm trying to hold out, I feel like I'm dying for space again. I believe it's four of these to make one. I just, I don't know, how, is it a, oh! We're gonna make this first. I've wanted one of these for a while. You guys will have to let me know, am I a little carried away with the, uh, like, I can't even pick that up because I have no space. Am I getting carried away with the little storage containers, or, or am I not that bad? <laughs> I guess I, I would know. I, I, I told you guys up front, I'm a bit of a hoarder. I have a hard time when it comes to, like, not using all my loot. Okay, so let's bind this to something. And I assume it's just something I kind of, like, I just stick it out here somewhere? Hmm... Deploy. Yo, look at that! It's just pulling right in! No way! And now I can just come over here and, like, pick him up? Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! I love that! Okay, I need another storage container. Uh, I think I need one of those. But I actually need space. Alright, we'll deposit these to free up the space. Ah, oh, I like the little gravity thing. I wonder if I can, like, move that around to different locations. To help with, uh... To help with, like, gathering specific types of stuff. I just love it. it just, like, zaps them. It's like, get over here! Uh, food's down just a smudge here. Let's go ahead and cook this boomerang. Let's go ahead and turn you into water. Okay. Let's eat... that. That puts me in good shape there. Let's get our little storage container out here. Look at- oh, it even caught one of those little stingray things! Oh my gosh! Does that have like a certain amount of time that it runs, or will it just keep going? That's my next question. Alright, deploy! Because I need more storage. Alright, we're gonna store... you. I don't know if these really serve a purpose. I feel like later I'll be glad that I have them. Okay, there's a little more room in here, so let's go up here and grab some things. I don't like this one being completely full. 
I like having some room to work with in here. Oh, I guess it's not completely full. All right, we'll pull you out. These eggs. Another seed. Those things. Oh, I forgot I got these in here taking up quite a bit of room, too. That's all right. This will free up some more space. I thought naming these were going to be great, but it's just so much easier to just open them to check them. I guess if it wasn't so fast, I would appreciate the names more, but I do appreciate the speed. That's That would be my preference. Okay. I got water healing stuff on me. I got... I got some food on me. Oh, I do got a couple things I need to go check. 20 minutes. Oh, one thing I did notice when I was swimming over here, it does have a landmark out there for where they're supposed to be landing. So, we might head that way next. I don't know. Oh, that's not what it's going to do. Uh, let's check what we got here. Salvage cave crawlers. Oh, yeah, look at that. Thankfully, it's a little low on the threat there. Agile Territoria carrion feeders, well adapted to both land and sea. Oh, I might see them underwater too then. Gas exchange members, absorbs essential gases from the air or water for basic bodily regulation. Mandibles, this species seeks out corpses in packs before defending its claim while the corpse is devoured. Necessary waste recycler, avoid or incapacitate. Okay, so I, I guess I might have a use for it later. I guess just not yet. The, the Jaffa cup. A common land fungus found in clusters grows quickly. Size is limited only by available nutrients and space. The Voxel shrub, a pink leafy plant with an angular appearance which grows exclusively on land. Okay. Pearl pap papyrus. I think that's how you pronounce that. The function of the distinctive curled leaves on this aquatic plant is not immediately clear. It is possible the leaves unfurl in low light conditions or that they are designed to channel water currents through the main body of the plant, thus enhancing nutrient take up. Okay. Well, we're up on all that. Uh, picking up multiple signatures on the land. Uh, yeah, I would like to go explore. I feel like I need something better than a knife though for defending myself. What's available for crafting at the moment? I got that. Uh, the fins I've got. The suit. Mm, rebreather. Compass I don't have yet, but I don't really see what I would use a compass for yet. Scanner. Repair tool. Flashlight. I have not made the flashlight yet. Uh, habitat builder. This is what I need. But can I even build the habitat since I haven't scanned all the pieces? I don't think I can. Where's the blueprint? Where is habitat builder? Nope, that's not it. Multi-purpose room. See, I think I need this before I can build anything else. Because we got, we got base walls, exterior, Exterior, interior, interior. See, we got all these things that we can do, but I think we need to start with this. I need to find this. I feel like that's the next big objective I need to accomplish. Mm, laser cutter. Oh, I wonder if that could be a form of weapon. I am going to need this, though, so maybe I should make that my next focus of, like what to go after. In fact, I don't have a compass yet. I, I feel like I should have a compass just so I have one. That's what I'm thinking. So I need silver, gold, copper, and I need bat I need basically everything on this line right here. I need all these electronics. That's what I need to focus my attention on here for a little bit. But with this timer, something's going to go down over there. Maybe they're going to drop a uh, escape pod of supplies or something because they can't because they can't land. That would even be useful. Okay, let's save. And it looked like that thing was a long ways off. What was that marker? It showed up when I was up here on the surface. Right there. 1200 meters. We're going to go for it. I think I've got everything on me that I would need. I got water, I got food, I got healing stuff. I do kind of wish... You know what? Let's stock up just a little bit more. I got a little time here. I'm going to be probably there early anyways. I think I got an extra water in here. 
Let's grab you. Let's grab you just in case I get into something that requires disinfecting. Repair tool. I'm going to grab that because I don't know what I might find over there. And I, I want one more. <laughs> I want one more food. Where's my little... Look at this. My goodness. Nope, that's not what I want. Look at this. I can just come up here like... Like snag these guys. Grab you. All right. That is fantastic. Is there? A, there is a bladder fish. Give me you. <laughs> That's one of the coolest things I've made yet. I love that. I feel like I almost have like a form of farming I can do now, just because of that. Need some water? Let's go down and get some water. Need some food? Let's go get some food. It's fantastic. And I don't even have a base yet. If it gets that kind of... If that's the level of coolness that gets added to this game by... Um, uh, let's go ahead. Everything's full. By starting to build a base, that makes me even more pumped to start base building. Now we're going to go ahead and save again. Let's head to the extraction point. I got a feeling we're getting close to my one hour mark or so on this video, so... Uh, that'll be a good good way to maybe wrap things up is by whatever occurs over here We'll kind of stay under the water a little bit in case I spot some stuff. Let's see. I needed these Let's see can I swat these or I can't remember what Plates maybe it was the red plate. I don't think that's the right coral that I needed to Make oh here's those little I didn't get to try to grab one of these last time. I'm going to see if I can grab one. Oh, there's a bunch of these things over here, too. Oh, I hear him puffing. All right, can I... Yeah, last time I couldn't... Do they take up four spaces? No, it's just two. Okay. We'll just grab two for now. But if I can find some copper or something like that along the way, I'm all for it. Ooh, salvage. That could be handy. I am so excited that you can or not excited i'm so glad you can pick stuff up while being on this thing that you don't have to like switch off of it to grab stuff oh there's some salt uh, i'm still heading the right way okay you go for some air here soon oh here's something looking for copper guys got some copper for me See anything through here? I'm pumped. Once I can go underwater for quite a while and not be scared that I'm gonna run out of air, uh, I am totally gonna go diving into like some deep caves and caverns. I think that's gonna be super fun to explore. Oh, there's pod number three. That gives me a point of reference. I still think there was one. Did I find all three? Actually, I think I did find all three pieces to what was over here. Man, so I could create one of those little zapper things and stick them like all over the place to help gather some resources. I wonder if my compass would help me spot those things easier. I still have not quite figured the whole <laughs> just go to the surface and not create a bunch of splashing thing. Ooh, I'll take that and that. I wonder if salt serves a purpose other than just preserving curing meat or fish. Uh, oh, my inventory's full. That's not what I want to see happening. Okay, well, I'll be I'll be using a water here soon. I did find one copper, thankfully. This takes up so many spaces. I kind of wish I, I didn't need that. But the fact that it already saved my life once makes it harder to give it up. Okay. Uh, where was... Okay, here we go. Sunbeam landing site. Is this a different piece of land? Man, is that ship like... Burning up more. I don't remember the front of it all looking like that. Although, I, maybe I haven't seen it, like, from the front. This is wild. Alright, we'll go under still here. I think I will need to make a flashlight here soon. I got a feeling that, like, in moments like this, 
I don't know how far the light travels, but I got a feeling it makes a difference. Oh, a radio broadcast. Oh, I'm nowhere near being able to pick that up. Maybe they're just letting me know they're almost here. Maybe that's what they're doing. Yeah, since we're here early. Yeah, oh, what is that? Can I scan you? Hopper fish? Come here. New creature discovered. Yeah, I got a hopper. Ooh, what? Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. What is that? I don't know what it is, but it looks like it would attack me. I'm leaving it. I don't want to scan it that bad. A bulbo tree. Oh no. Hey, dude. I'm out of the water. Don't be trying to bite me. Huh? Okay. Large energy signature. Uh that's the landing spot. Whoa! What is that? Can I scan it? <laughs> Do I have to get close? Oh, man. I don't think I'm here alone. Second officer. Yeah, I know. I, I understand. There's something back there. Okay, well... Okay, we're gonna wait a minute, I guess. We got nine minutes. I found something. Let's go ahead and read what these were. Since we got time to kill anyways... Ha uh, a hoop fish. Small school mentality prey fish with a unique method of propulsion and a distinct relative of the bladder fish. Oh, wonder if I'll be able to filter water or something. Very low on the threat scale. Cool looking fish though, I like that. Antennae, rather than swimming, this life form uses the fine green antennae which encircles its body to alter the composition of the water in front of it, allowing it to sail into the low density space created. Purple green coloration may be a camouflage adaptation for mid range light wavelengths, possibly indicating the hoop fish is more active at dawn and dusk okay behavior while schools of hoop fish will form periodically and evade predators in masses this behavior is more social than it is defensive and lone hoop fish are often found hunting for food and displaying generally curious behavior and it's edible i'll be cooking me a hoop fish the bulbo tree a Bulb-based flora which roots to the ground and sprouts turquoise leaves. Analysis suggests the sap produced by this plant is poisonous to insects, but can be harvested and consumed by humans for its high water content. It's edible and high... Can I just straight up eat this plant? Oh, wait a minute. I bet I got a slash at it. Well, let's try it. Can I slash at this thing? Inventory full times two. Imagine that. It must take up four spots. Uh, man. I kind of want to... That get, If I eat this thing uncooked, it gives me four food. That seems like a ripoff. I don't want to ditch anything. I need a bigger pocket. I need bigger pockets. Okay, well, we got seven minutes. The sun coming back out yet? We'll kind of walk around a little bit. Thank you. Glad to see the sun. Oh, you go away, spider. I wonder if things kind of change. Like, maybe they, they hide during the day. That would be nice. I can see my shadow. Can I... I don't know. How good of a climber and stuff am I? I assume I need to worry about things like fall damage. And I do see a freaky looking little cave over here. Yo! Oh, come on. You want some of this? You want some? Yeah, you missed. Oh, I missed too. Yeah, run away. You, you, you must be a descendant from your stalker friends. I just hope there's not like a big mama version of this. I'd be in trouble if that was the case. Oh, come on. I hit it twice without getting touched. Got me on the third. Here, I wish I had my flashlight again. This over here. Something pick up. Lithium. Oh, now that sounds like something important. Like for batteries and stuff, maybe. <gasps> Electronic related, for sure. I should have scanned it first. Ooh. I hear that thing chasing me. <gasps> you stay away. Can I get in this water? 
Oh, man. That looks deep. That looks deep and scary. Look at that. I ain't going down there right now. I need better weapons before I start getting too adventurous. Okay. I thought this was open to go back through the other way. Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Can I scan it? Oh, I must have already scanned it. Okay, well, we got... We got five minutes. So I might just swoosh us to that moment. Because I'm not going to run around and do anything else. I don't want to get distracted from whatever is about to happen. So uh, I'm just going to swoosh. And we're going to see what happens here at the landing site. I got a feeling... Got a feeling it ain't necessarily going to be good. But we'll see. Okay, we are less than a minute away. I got up on this. Hopefully have a nice view of whatever is about to go down right here. I think right here it was designated as the landing area. Seeing this thing during the day is pretty wild. Is that... I mean, that's just like a bird. Man, I don't know what this structure is. I see there's like a cable or something coming out over here. Almost looks like there's a force field or something in place. Probably keeping you from being able to walk in there. Or maybe it's to keep out creatures. I don't know. And I wasn't sure... Looks like something maybe right there, but... Oh, I hear something. Oh, that thing's extending. Is that like a giant gun? Oh, no. Is that what shot us out of space? Was this thing here? Survivor, we see you. Man, I don't know how you held out down there. We broke an atmosphere, and we're descending towards the landing site. Oh, no. Is that a building down there? What do you mean you can't identify it? Hold on. No turning back now. Positions, everyone. Oh, Touching no. Down. Ten, nine, eight. It's coming from the building? Oh. Change course. Set thrusters to full. gosh I did not expect that thing to be a gun no <laughs> are those big fiery pieces things I can like swim out to now to try to get supplies It's not going back to, like, its previous position. There's still smoke in there. We'll give it just a second longer. That was wild. Oh, there it goes. Well, that's definitely not something that was just grown here. That music is wild, too. The sound. Okay, well... I had a feeling something would happen to keep that thing from getting here. Didn't expect that. Didn't expect that. 